Hi everyone, hello and hello. Yeah, welcome to my pre-intermediate business English class. So today we're gonna talk about the uh, page number uh, page number 90, which I have already mentioned you uh, during last Sunday. We're gonna listen to the uh, various recording and uh, we will do the we will do the exercises. So this is all about the international conference calls. So this is uh, just in time with the COVID-19 uh, conflict and everyone tend to use the uh, video conferences call uh, more than usual. So uh, more than usual, uh, uh, so more often. So I, I hope that uh, you guys also will have a, a video conference call with your team, but not in English, but mostly in Myanmar. So, uh, so that uh, now you will have to uh, practice and also you will have to listen to the various English conversation on conference calls, and then you have to uh, you have to do the uh, exercises. So, so number eight is about uh, so page number nineteen. Number eight is about mostly about the uh, discussing questions. So the first one is like, do you enjoy using the phone? Why? Why not? So uh, these are like uh, very uh, introductory section of the. Uh, of the, the, the exercises, so I, I will not go through those all. So I will just go to uh, to number B. So CD 2.35 to 2.40. So listen to the six short extracts from the conference calls. So what do you think is the problem in each situation? So you have to listen to different, six different extracts from conference calls. So and then you have to decide what are the problems. What is the problem in each situation? So what you have to do is to you have to listen to each extract, and then you have to write down the answer for each extract. So you will have a you're gonna have like uh, six uh, answer, six answer for each or one one answer for each. So in total you will have six uh, answers. So uh, I hope you guys will uh, get the answer very easily. So it's not that difficult. So you can get it. So let's try it one time. Working across cultures 3. Track 35. Call 1. It's the first time we have heard about this, and my view is that we should find out more about what the markets think. Because no, I think this and is then because it of will, the way that... And then I'm sure that... I the, think that... Working across cultures 3. Track 36. Call 2. It's the right time to think about the new marketing strategy for all the new ranges across all the markets, except for the Latin American region, where I think we should adopt a different approach. Working across cultures 3. Track 37. Call 3. Well, I, I don't think it will work here, but I like the idea in general. Sorry, I don't know who said that. Where are you? Yes, sorry, this is Carlos in Australia. Working across cultures 3. Track 38. Call 4. Yes, about the marketing strategy. Well, this reminds me of the time when I was playing golf with Mr. Takagi, and he told me about the best way to hit the ball. There's an old Japanese proverb, which is a very good way of remembering the important... Working Across Cultures 3. Track 39. Call 5. Yes. Hello? Is there anybody there? I'm a bit late, sorry. Uh, how, how does this microphone work again? Let's see. Uh, if I do this, then maybe... Working Across Cultures 3. Track 40. Call 6. Martin, what do you think? Well... My suggestion is to look at the finance again to try and save uh, as much as we can on the ad for the. Okay, I I think you got a uh, prob uh, you got an answer for C, uh, B. So uh, we're gonna to go over C. So it's also about it's only about the the, the six extra you have already uh, listened to. Uh, but this is about the uh, types of problem. Uh, you you have to match so I think you don't even need to listen again because you already have no so uh, exercise B just to make sure that uh, you are right or wrong just to make the double check so for for sure to be uh, 
to be sure of the right answer so I will give you a chance to listen again and then make sure that you get the correct uh, problem for each extract so let's listen again working across cultures 3 track 35 call 1 it's the first time we have heard about this and my view is that we should find out more about what the markets think because no, I think this and is then because it of will, the way that... And then I'm sure that... I the, think that... Working Across Cultures 3, Track 36, Call 2. It's the right time to think about the new marketing strategy for all the new ranges across all the markets, except for the Latin American region, where I think we should adopt a different approach. Working Across Cultures 3, Track 37, Call 3. Well, I, I don't think it will work here, but I like the idea in general. Sorry, I don't know who said that. Where are you? Yes, sorry, this is Carlos in Australia. Working Across Cultures 3, Track 38, Call 4. Yes, about the marketing strategy. Well, this reminds me of the time when I was playing golf with Mr. Takagi and he told me about the best way to hit the ball. There's an old Japanese proverb which is a very good way of remembering the important... Working Across Cultures 3, Track 39, Call 5. Yes. Hello? Is there anybody there? I'm a bit late, sorry. Uh, how does this microphone work again? Let's see. Uh, if I do this, then maybe... Working Across Cultures 3, Track 40, Call 6. Martin, what do you think? Well, my suggestion is to look at the finance again to try and save uh, as much as we can on the ad for the... And then number D is about... Uh, so, listen to the first part of the talk by an expert on international conference call. So, so, and then you, after you have listened, number one, you have to decide which of the problems in exercise C are mentioned. So in total of uh, six problems uh, mentioned in exercise C, so, um, so uh, in exercise D, uh, the, the international conference calls a part, so which problems did he or she mention? Okay, so do you have to decide. If he mentioned about getting cut off, if he, uh, he or she uh, mentioned about leaving the main topic, as it were. So uh, the real, uh, the main issue here is like uh, what are the problem he mentioned from exercise C. And then number two is about according to the expert, which is the biggest most common problem. You have to listen to it again and again, and then you have to decide which is the most common problem. So this is uh, what you have to do with the. Uh, CD 2.4 uh, recording, so I, I think you, you guys will also have this answer, but it might be very um, uh, a bit tricky and also a bit difficult for you, but uh, at least you have to try your, you have to try, uh, otherwise you, uh, uh, there's no, they, they, it makes no sense, so let's try to listen again and again and then you will get the correct answer, I, heard, I think, so let's try again, uh, let's try, so First, so you can try like two or three times, uh, listen again and again before you move to E. So, and then as usual, you have to write down the correct answer in plain sheet and you have to, uh, you have to uh, send it to me by your uh, personal Facebook account. So, so let's try. Working Across Cultures 3, track 41. Hello, everyone. <coughs> right, in this afternoon's session of the cultural training course, and before you go to your breakout groups, I'd like to talk a bit about international conference calls. These are becoming more and more common and cheaper now that the web is being used for phone calls. Firstly, I'd like to look at the most common problems and then move on to a few tips and pieces of advice. I suppose many things are common sense. 
However, it can all take some getting used to. The first thing to say is about technology. This is probably the most common problem I hear about. There are a lot of different systems, and as with all technology, it sometimes goes wrong. Systems can crash and people get cut off. So be prepared for that, as it can be very frustrating. Also, there are times when there are people taking part in a conference call who are not familiar with the technology and who don't know how the equipment works. This is a training issue. The other thing is, background noise can be a big problem, especially if a mobile or cell phone is used, as these tend to pick up a lot of background noise. Finally, there may be problems with people not being sensitive and speaking very fast, maybe because of nerves or just because they behave differently on the phone. And then in exercise E, so this is to the second part of the talk. So in CD 2.41, D is about first part, and then E is about the, the second part. Okay, so and then complete these tips for the punishment. All you have to do is listen to the uh, listen to the talk, and then you have to fill in the gaps, and that's it. So I hope you guys will get the correct answer. Working across cultures, three, track forty-two. And now I'd like to look at a few solutions to the problems and offer some tips for both participants and call leaders. It may seem obvious, but when you are part of a conference call, make sure you are in a quiet place and not likely to be interrupted or disturbed. This follows on from what I said earlier. Actually, the mute button is important to use when you are not speaking, so that you can reduce background noise. Personally, I use a headset for this type of call. Also, try and avoid eating, drinking, or chewing gum while on a conference call, as this can be noisy for others. If you really need to have a drink, remember to use the mute button. Moving on to participants, a few quick pieces of advice: prepare for the call in advance. Think about and plan what you may need to say, and perhaps any questions you may have. Have any documents you may need close to hand, so that you don't need to look for them during the call. Being on time is also important. When speaking, if it's not clear from the technology being used, it can be helpful to say who you are each time you speak. For example, this is Mike. I didn't catch the name of the marketing firm. Could you say it again, please? As in face-to-face -face meetings, when you speak, stay on topic. Short contributions will be more memorable, and a conference call is not really the place for long speeches. Another good tip is to signal or label what you say. For example, this is Mike, and my idea is. The other thing to say is. Try not to interrupt people when they are speaking. Listen carefully, and wait to be invited to comment by the call leader. Avoid taking notes on a computer, as typing will be noisy for the other participants. A pen and paper, although old-fashioned, is still effective. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and then number F is about uh, the not not about the listening part, but about the、uh, part phrasing. So、uh, on the final, final、uh, talk, final part of the talk,、um, another participant in the talk make a note,、uh, and then the he or she write down whatever he,、uh, whatever he, he or she has listened to, and then and then he makes、uh, he or she makes a note. So that's the note. So、uh, you have to what you have to design is like、uh, is the notes、uh, due to the notes. And then、uh, here we have like five statement at the end, like the time of conference calls are important, and agenda is not important for conference call. Blah blah blah. One to five. You have to design those five sentences are、uh, uh, statements are correct or not. What you all what you have to do is just to design number one is correct or. Not correct, true or false, and then number two is the same way.、Uh, the、uh, the reference you have is like the notes, the notes. 
call leader, uh, the, the Y sheet uh, above, and then you have to decide from one to five which are true, which are false. So what you have to do is all about that. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, learning with me and then uh, to, uh, to learn about the prisoner English and uh, from market leader. So I, I hope you guys will get the correct answer. So uh, hopefully see you in, uh, see you this weekend, I think. We're gonna have a, a like in-person learning starting from this week, I think. We will, we will do this uh, from this week, I think. So uh, make sure that you do the exercise before you come to the class and then make sure you send it to me via personal Facebook account and then uh, make sure you did other homework I have already gave I have already given you on uh, last Sunday and then hopefully we will uh, practice a lot and while we meet okay so that's all for now and thank you very much for your kind attention and then hopefully see you guys on weekends thank you